Yeah, sometimes I think um, we need a reason to buy and sell. So that's why um, God invented indicators right, or people. And uh, RSI, three period, which I've uh, looked at extensively and must say that three period is the only way to trade RSI. I'm just saying, because uh, you can really get in at deep discount prices. If you look at the three period RSI, um, and here I've set the uh, indicator so that when you're in three period territory, you kind of want to get uh, the levels at uh, like say 10 and 20 and 90 and 80 because you really want to get the extreme entry, whether buy or sell. And you just have to kind of um, do a little uh, time frame overlay here. What it, you, if you're going to get in on uh, the uh, extremes, so you're going to buy anything below 20 and certainly going to buy at 10 really hard. Um, of course, this is on the one hour chart. So if you look at your, uh, come to the platform here and you'll see the RSI is down here you're buying um, just simple with a stop and uh, it's pretty ruckus down here but it's kind of a scalp you know this is like uh, this is 10 pips here so these are kind of like uh, looking to make 10 20 30 pips anything so every time RSI is down here these are definitely buy, buy. Now here you would say, yeah, I bought, but look, it crushed down. Yeah, that's why I think you trade with stops. But then another thing, um, look at the divergence entries. So here's a uh, a two-period divergence. In other words, this only took three hours for this divergence. And if you trade the RSI as if it is price in, in, in the strength the sense of structure, then a top and bottom, top becoming a bottom in RSI, like it did here, this top becomes a bottom, you're, you're going to buy here, right? Because you got a perfect top, bottom, and momentum. And you're in an uptrend. Of course, this is the rollover. So the nice thing about RSI, it gives you an entry edge to get in before most people and when this came back to this top bottom you had a top bottom in the price here and this flat spot became the bottom so this double confirmation when the market came back to here that was a scalp it was also a great place to re-enter of course in live trading the RSI would be flirting down here again so if you want to try to nail it as it's coming in and certainly taking profits up in here not to say you would sell hard into there but you could sell for a little bit the problem is that when the market goes over but this would be the only flaw in um, the buy sell that's why you're going to run a 15 to 10 to 20 pip stops on all these trades um, you could also trade the um, reversal so when the market is uh, would you consider to be overbought? Um, say you sold, uh, yeah, let's see, looking for a bad trade here. Uh, if you sold, say, um, I have to go to the next time frame, I guess, to see a bad trade here. The Sarah size typically a range trader's uh, dream. So, here when it went overbought. If you sold here, you're just getting crushed. That's on the that's on the four hour chart though. So the time frame is so critical. And had you bought here as as in other words, you bought down here, you bought that divergence, or you just bought here, like you got crushed, right? But that's on the four hour. So it totally matters what time frame. Now, in the sense of treating RSI as, um, 
a uh, top becoming a bottom structurally, you can see that this major top here becomes the um, the bottom, or even better, this one here. If this, if you're going to do the wave count, in other words, if you treated this as if it was uh, Elliott wave, this would be one, two, three is the biggest wave, pulls back to four. Um, then you can draw trend lines like this across that and see that when we broke that out, um, that was a big move. Of course, on the if you took this to a four period RSI, you would see more of a trend where this is like almost pure oscillation mode at three period. But definitely coming back to that part and um, yeah, I mean, if you if you're waiting for this RSI to come down here for a buy, maybe not. Um, may have to just wait for it to come back to the the 50 level, which it didn't put in here, but. If you look at fair value being uh, on our side being 50, be about right there. So you got a nice double bottom here at the 50, which was a, um, like say you'd bought this uh, pull back to here, this double bottom in RSI. And then you have a, so you got a trend line through that. So you got a nice setup. You have a double top. It comes a bottom in time, not in price, but in time on the four-hour time stamp as the market's pulsating, as the market's vibrating, right? Or it's 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 uh, floating. It's caught caught in the ebb and flow of uh, you know this up and downness. But yeah, look at that. Look at that thing screaming back to the... Um, of course, I'm on the one hour looking for an entry now. And um, I got a coil forming an RSI right at the center. So which way is it going to break and um, how to get long or short on this? If you think that uh, this is uh, reaching the double top here, which is a pivot, and we're going to go down, then... Certainly, you go sell a little bit right now at the market, and um, in case you're wrong and it keeps going up, then you know you're gonna ha want to have your sell orders just outside the last known high, at least for a, a 20, 10 or 20 pip scalp back, a high probability trade coming back into this. Or if you think, um, of course, you, you just have to wait for it to unfold. If, if you there's a platform out there you can actually place your orders on RSI, but uh, you need to really it kind of ch it chokes the computer. Where MT4, you could just have an alarm here, I suppose, get in down there. But for me, it's going to be typically, um, I'm not going to trade the RSI. I mean, certainly if RSI comes down to here, obviously, I'm going to scalp, I'm going to buy if it comes back to this. And this is a this is a hefty uh, low risk entry zone down here. So either you either get to place a pending in the structure zone here. So you have a buy limit here and say a buy limit here. Of course, there's 20 pips between those two guys. High probability, um, you know, ricochet zones. Or you're buying at the market right here for, you know, as we as we. Um, the market has to decide which way it's going to leave this thing. But for the trend style entry, say you're going to buy in a limit here. So you're figuring they're going to come down and grab that, and then it's going to go up 50 pips. Then you certainly have, a, like, say, a 20 pip stop on this order. So your stop is down here. You're getting in here, and you're looking to make that. Because that's the, that's really the some of the the better trades. In other words, um, come down and trap the, like here, comes down, traps the bears, then rips it up. And everybody's like, oh, see, it's going to fall down. It's going to just keep tanking. And it eventually does, but at first it has to come back and uh, rip everybody's head off. Same thing here. 
when you got the divergence here, you had this line drawn. You knew that this at bottom exists. You knew that this was a right price here at 108.70, just based on prior. Um, and this would be like if you did market profile and you compressed all this data, and all market profile does is take this chart and, and turn it 90 degrees horizontally, so you're looking down it. You're looking at all the popular prices. You're looking at the unpopular prices, which is way down here. This you would have had to have, and this is when, uh, I think if you're trading super aggressive and you're buying this thing here, that only lasted, I mean, realize that only lasted about uh, four hours, that, that swing there, has eclipsed the low of that day. And so if you index, you, fi you find out where this is on the chart, I'll put it up arrow here, um, and then put this up arrow in and then come back to the, um, the four hour time frame and see where that's at. And then go to the, um, and without slicing it too thin, uh, you can have, uh, you can have this little uh, situation here. We have a, a double top becomes a bottom right there. And uh, this cleans it up. There's not, as, there's not that many choices in here. Um, you can see this double top, triple top, comes with double bottom here. That's a nice entry for that, at least that burst up here where they come and grab and trap those people. So if I go to the daily from here, and I can still keep track of where this entry was, it happens to be at the top of this pivot here. So that's a big deal, right? So in the end, you know, waiting for the market to come back into this window from the top of this wick to here, that was the entry zone there. And certainly RSI right now is giving you, if you follow RSI rules, this is setting up for a sell. Of course, I wouldn't take it on this time frame, but every time you see this situation where this price compared to this price, you want it to go into the, um, the market here and look where those queue up and what you have here is an inversion where it's more more overbought but at a lower price and that's the reversal like this one here and this is pretty faint but there's a slight upness to this and this is coming back and cocking the gun so these are reversals in RSI so when you see a divergence like this Right, this this may be a short-lived divergence up here. Okay, you could you could made money at that. Of course, they did a little uh, stop on spike up there, but you captured that that come down to in here. But this is always divergence is always a setup for a reversal. Uh, typically, of course, when the market goes into wave uh, two or wave four, in other words, consolidations, then uh, all bets are off. Uh, you kind of want to go down into the next time frame. So that's why uh, if you're on the four hour, it's really untradeable, in my opinion, for any type of. Whereas the one hour gives you a little low risk entry and a higher probability pattern because you're right now you're some type of consolidation, either getting ready to rip down or um, we'll continue up until we come into the floor here where the bottom dropped out right that little notch there which this would be the you know the gravestone doji whatever have you inverted hammer or you know but yeah that's uh that's that's about how boring it is but rsi is certainly looking for the uh, break of the triangle here first and then price follow right now there's a triple divergence but that typically sets up for a buy, which is, if you connect these two, you can see that this is your uh, reversal, and then you're going to find the highest close in there. So you're still kind of walking up this faint little flag guy.